Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Today, I don't usually do these kind of videos. I really don't speak on these type of issues. But today we have, um, how can I put it, a sad situation. I see a lot of videos going on about the Young King takeoff and what happened. A lot of people pointing fingers. It was this person, it was that person. A lot of people saying that um, as being a millionaire, he shouldn't have been in that situation. He shouldn't have been out having fun. But what we got to understand is that he was only 28 years old, still young. Just because you got money don't mean your life has to stop. It doesn't mean that you're confined to a house and work. He want to go out and have some fun and he should be able to do that without any gun violence, any fights, or without anybody trying to take anything from him. Now, from my understanding, it was at a dice game. He was not shooting dice. He just happened to be there. It was another famous person, I would say, party he was at. And I'm not saying he had anything to do with it or he could have stopped it. What I'm saying is this. He wasn't out in the regular hoods partying. He was out with celebrities. He was out enjoying somebody's birthday, you know, and this tragedy had to happen to him and his family over arguments or whatever the case may be. Everybody want to keep saying it was this person's fault, that person's fault. But the fact remains is that it's nobody's fault. Well, let me correct that. It is somebody's fault. It's our fault. We don't take accountability for our own actions. We sit there and we blame everybody but us. We got too much jealousy, hatred in our hearts that we don't want to see the next one win. And it's a crying shame. I mean, it is a crying shame that a man can't even go out and enjoy himself for a night. No matter how much money he has or how little money he has, he can't just go out and enjoy himself for one night without this happening. So, all I'm saying is to y'all is that we need to start taking accountability for our own actions. Stop looking at the white man and the Jewish people for our downfalls. We got more black on black crimes than we have white on black crimes or Jewish on black crimes. When are we going to stand up and take accountability for that? When are we going to stand up and say, look, I'm not going to hurt my brother man. I'm not going to disrespect my black woman. Stop putting it on everybody else. Take those shackles off your brain and think. To the people that's out there putting out them photos of him laying on the ground. You know, y'all dead wrong for that. How would you like to wake up and see your child or your brother or uncle or your dad laid out like that and you have to look at it on social media before you even get the news? You're dead wrong for that. We need to stop glorifying stuff like that for likes. We need to stop glorifying that stuff just to try to be popular well, oh, I got it first, and, and I went viral behind it. You know, 
I don't jump on a bandwagon and do this, you know, trying to get likes or get subscribers or whatever. I'm saying this because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the hurt. I'm tired of people having to see their child on social media. I'm tired of everybody trying to play detective of what happened. It was his cousin. It was his homie. It had something to do with Jay Prince. It was the elite group. I mean, everybody got something. Last time I checked, y'all niggas was not Scooby-Doo. Okay, this is not no mystery to be solved. Not by us anyway. Let the right people handle it. Let the police handle it. If you want to be a detective, then start talking. If you've seen something, if you know something, let the cops handle it. Tell them. Stop all this, oh, I'm not a snitch. You might not be the snitch, but you're acting like police to me. I mean, my heart goes out to that man. Take off his family his friends, the people that are impacted directly and indirectly. I don't really know the man like that. I don't really listen to his music, but I do know he was a black man. He was a king, and from what I hear about it, everybody that say one thing about him is that he wasn't into all that dumb stuff. He was a real cool, humble dude. They just got caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, please, I ask everybody, stop all the foolishness. Stop bringing our people down. Stop killing these rappers. I mean, they getting it just like you could get it. Everybody got the same 12, 24, whatever you want to look at it. In a day, who out there put your 16 hours in, your 18 hours, or your 5 hours, however you get your money, go get it like that. Stop trying to take from everybody. Stop trying to hinder and hurt people. Now, I know I'm going on a rant, you know, this was not no scheduled video or nothing like that. It's just me letting stuff off my heart. To let y'all people know, let my people know, it's time we stand up, take accountability, and stop hurting each other. That's all I want, is just stop hurting each other. Let us be able to go out and do the normal. Go to parties. Go kick it with your homies. You know, stop lurking on people. Because karma is a bitch. And it will bite you back in your ass. Believe that. You know. So. Let people go out and have a good time. Let them enjoy their wealth. You know. There's nothing wrong with that. They're human beings just like you and I are. They put their pants leg on just like you and I do. They bleed, sleep, eat, and shit just like we do. So why? Why? Because they make a little bit more money. They got bigger houses. They got flashier cars. You could get it too. Just supply yourself. Just supply yourself. You should never want to take from your brother, man. And I'm not saying, you know, go out there and, and rob anybody else. Just think about it. But I ain't going to make this video long. I'm just going to say my piece and that was it. You know, so rest in peace to the king. Take off. May you transition well on your next journey. My condolence goes out to his family, his friends, and everybody that impacted 
directly and indirectly. Peace. Little time I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything we're doing is a tough.